Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I am Sunil Mirwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as Contact Account. So we are doing question number 9 today. We are doing question number 9 today in the books of Rex Limited. Right? Now, Contract Account. Since they have given you estimated contract, you will have to make a total contract account. So you will be making a contract account and total contract account, right? Now they are saying that Rex Limited commence business on 1st July. Rex Limited commence business on 1st July 2003. The total contract price is 5 lakhs, but Rex Limited accepted the same for 4 lakh 50 thousand. It was decided to estimate total profit. It was decided to estimate the total profit and to take credit of profit and loss account to that proportion of estimated profit as cash basis which the work certified which the work completed and certified go to the total contract ok let's start material this is going to be 2 material amount is 75,000 right now when you are doing total contract you have to add the 2 so this will be 2 material material is going to be 75 plus 1 lakh 30,000 that's 2 lakh 5,000 right then you have 2 labor 2 labor labor is 55,000 right this is going to be 2 labor labor is 55 and 60 1 lakh 15,000 right then you have two plant purchase. Plant purchase means never recorded contract. It goes in working note. So working note one. Plant purchased. You have purchased plant cemetery of forty thousand. Forty thousand. Okay, plant purchase is forty thousand. Next miscellaneous expenses. Two miscellaneous expenses. Uh, miscellaneous expenses are twenty thousand. And two miscellaneous expenses are going to be twenty thousand plus thirty five thousand. Thirty five thousand five hundred. So fifty five thousand five hundred. Someone cross check, guys. Yes. Next, plant return to site. Stores. Plant return to stores. Okay. Plant return. They are saying that plant returned to stores is uh, 10,000 and 25,000 so we'll just come back to this a little later 10,000 and 25,000 okay next material and size so this is going to be by material and size material and size is going to be 5,000 right next Work certified. By work certified. Work certified is two lakhs. And since they said full in the total contract, this is going to be by work certified. The contract price. Contract price is four lakhs fifty thousand. Okay. Next, work uncertified. By work uncertified. 7,500. 7,500. Right? Cash received. We do not record cash received. Now, some of you must be wondering that on certain was on the debit side he added and he wrote it in contract and total contract, but on credit side he didn't do that. The credit side entries are not to be added. It's only the debit side entries that are added from contract and estimated to get the total contract. We don't do that for the credit side entries. Okay. Now, let's see this. Plant is subjected to an annual depreciation of 20% on cost. The contract is likely to be completed on 30th September. Now see, you have total plant of 40,000 out of which 10,000 is returned to the store at the end of the first year and 25,000 at the end of the second year. Right? Do we get this thing clear? So that means 5000 is going to be used for the, see, 
25,000 plus 10,000, 35,000. That means 5,000 is used for the entire contract, right? Now, let's try calculating the depreciation on each one of them. You have, we'll divide the plant into three parts. 10,000, 25,000, and 5,000. Right? Plus 20% depreciation. Now when did the contract begin? The contract began on 1st July and they are saying that the year ends on 31st December. That means for 6 months. So for 6 months on this the 1, depreci 1, depreciation will be 1000. This will be 2500 and this will be 500. Therefore the WDV is going to be 9,000. 9, this is going to be 22,500 and this is 4,500. Right? Now since the first plant has been returned to stores, I need not depreciation, depreciate it anymore. Right? Now, let's see the next one. This 20% depreciation. This was for contract. This is for the total contract. After 31st December, they are saying that the contract is estimated to be completed uh, by 30th September, 30th September 2004. That means for 9 months. Someone please calculate now, depreciation is 20% on original call. So on 25,000, you will calculate 20% for 9 months. On 25,000, you will calculate 20% for 9 months. 3750. And the seven fifty. Right? So your total WDV here, this is going to be nine thousand because this was returned. Some of these help me calculate this. Eighteen seven fifty. Eighteen seven fifty and this is going to be three seven five. Three seven five zero. Fine, do we get this thing here? Now, let's see this. Uh, how much is the depreciation going to be? Now, the depreciation for the first year is going to be 2000. Depreciation 4000. Right? Everyone's understood how he got 4000. He did 1000 plus 2500 plus 500. That's how he got 4000. And in total contract account, the depreciation will be 4000 of the contract account plus uh, 3750 plus 750. 4500. 4500, okay. So total will be 8500. Fine, we get this thing here. I think we've done all the entries. Now let's start tallying. Someone please help me tally this first. This is 4,50,000. This is 4,50,000. This is going to be two estimated profit. 2,50,000. 2,50,000. 500. Right? How much? 66,000. 66,000. How much? Ah, 66,000 is the difference. Okay. So your difference is 66,000 estimated profit. So whenever you have a total contract account, first thing that you do, do is you tally your estimated profit. Okay. Once you get this, now let's tally this. Now you tally your contract account to get notional profit. Right? Someone please help me tally this. 2,12,500 yes. 2,12,500 58,000 How much? 58,000 58,000 Right, bring the notional profit down by notional profit Drawdown 58,500 Working note 2 now, I need to calculate the profit. Now, if you see the opening paragraph, 
they have said that profit would be work completed and certified to contract price. So it will be profit is going to be esti it's given to you in the sum guys so please read the sum carefully estimated profit work completed and certified so certified work to they are saying total contract price contract price right estimated profit we found out from total contract account as 66,000 Certified work in contract account is 2 lakhs and contract price is 4 lakh 50,000. Someone please help me calculate this. So this you will write here as 2 profit 29334 and this is going to be 2 the difference is called as reserves this is 58500 58500 some of these calculators 2916166 right simple straightforward sum this finishes the sum. We'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.